Hey Water Rising, you're tuned into the Peace Sealer. My name is Bora and I'm here to read your November energies. The reason why I focused on the Ascendant sign is because it's a gateway to your ascension when you pursue the higher qualities of your Ascendant sign in esoteric astrology. So, I'm going to get into your month. Death and the Fool, that's what's coming up. It's like literally a sequence of dying, birthing, new life. But you have like this echo of a timeline where you're just being super defensive and wary about if what you put out is what you're gonna get. Um, so don't hold back on what you put out. Keep putting out without keeping track of it with this absolute faith that it's it's gonna return to you. There is no unjust universe. What is this? I I took um let me just The fairness of existence is unquestionable. Unfairness only arises from our inability to receive. And when I was shuffling, actually, they were telling me that you have to work on receiving the things that are coming. But it, because you're so freaking defensive, like you have this defensive energy. It's almost like you, it's crossed by this ace of pentacles. Things are being offered to you and things are being like literally spoon fed opportunities can be spoon fed to you but a part of you is so resistant to accepting it um you're defensive about you know when you let things in when when things didn't pan out the way you wanted it to and things like this i don't know um but it's not the it's it's, it's not a good energy to be having right here So this isn't, you know, this isn't something that I'm saying that is going to happen to you in November, but basically I'm forecasting what might happen and from this you can recalibrate your energy, right? So drop your defensiveness and stop thinking that you have to struggle to get what you want because basically this coming up together is literally saying that you feel like you have to struggle to get what you want and to receive or deserve something, but that's not the case. Um regardless if you struggle or not what's coming to you is coming to you um especially because what you have at the final outcome is the wheel of fortune what's coming what you set out before what you set forth um is coming like it's literally like coming in but whether you feel like you have to struggle to get that or not is up to you and currently your belief systems are that you have to struggle to get what you want you don't have to struggle hustling is like a really old concept you you can just let things flow to you hustling is just one way to get it because you you trick yourself into believing that you deserve it after the hustle but if you can accept grace and accept receptivity and accept this you know your inherent worthiness without having this sense of perfectionism or feeling like you need to change in order to deserve something um it's coming anyway but this is like an inevitable energy you're being offered things but make sure you recognize the opportunity when it comes and so i want you to perceive these opportunities like they're kind of never ending they're there are limitless opportunities. It's just about when you feel aligned and there's not a limit to how many opportunities you can take on. So when an opportunity comes, it's not like, oh, this one single chance to make it or something like that. It'll continually repeat itself. So don't worry about that, but eventually you have to take what's being offered um, and move on from this whole way of perceiving opportunities. And it's okay if you take an opportunity and it doesn't pan out and you will get something to make up for that of course 
but you also want to watch your energy expenditure you don't want to you know when you first initiate something or a project or an endeavor the first little bit takes a lot of energy and when you work on that and when you continually persist on working on that opportunity or um, relationship or project it's much more efficient with energy than if you continually gave up and started a new thing so there is no lack of opportunities but you also want to manage your energy effectively in this dimension or density of third dimension but yeah you're moving on some of you may be even traveling but you're not in the best mood about this even though all of the wheels are turning to a really positive position and what the universe is offering you is like divine love divine opportunities divine wealth uh there's a part of you that's just extremely salty about all of this and i don't know why <laughs> but it's okay because at the end of the, uh at the end of all of this it's it's fine you you i think you're kind of struggling to juggle between um your past self and your new self like your new self image and your past self image you feel like you kind of have to integrate your past self in order to remain authentic there's a part of you that thinks okay i cannot change too much i have to be authentic but your authenticity is channeled from your actual soul so it's not something that you gain from your past timelines you don't have to hold on to like past self in order to be authentic it's it's infinitely generated from your soul so let go of the entire past you don't have to remember anything when it's relevant it'll come up but i want you to kind of like if you can visualize like rays of violet flame just infiltrating your entire memory of past that would be a great thing to do and you're being offered this divine love honestly just receive it and it's gonna come in so many different forms. So it's not just one thing. It's like a it's like a multifaceted offer of love and and abundance and physical tangible scenarios and opportunities and synchronicities that are that are here now for you. You want to move on. You want to move on from all of this as well. Um, you wish kind of that it was going faster than you faster than it's going right now that's honestly secretly what you hope is i just want this to go faster but the only thing that's going to speed things up is infinite patience which is ironic because when you have infinite patience you don't even desire for things to speed up so you don't cultivate infinite patience in order to experience immediate results because like i said it's like ironic right the only thing that will produce immediate results is infinite patience. But when you have infinite patience, you don't even want infinite, uh, eternal. I mean, you don't even want immediate results. Oh my God, I just tripped up. Anyway, um, your final outcome is great. So after all of this, you are salty in the beginning. I mean, I think I, I just have to point that out. You're not in the best uh, position in the beginning. And it's all just like your thoughts and your, your uh, paranoia it's not even about emotions it's just um i would even say it's just an echo of this past timeline of this past that you need to let go of like i said because a part of you is traumatized about um losing your sense of identity but you're like i like i, I want to highlight again your identity is not something that you could possibly lose you can forget everything that ever happened to you but once you tune into your higher self you have the entire authenticity again um and you know you don't have to carry your war stories or battle stories to to lug around and tell people um that's just all becomes really irrelevant because essentially nobody should judge you based on your past everyone should just gauge you based on your frequency and they will um no matter what like your past really doesn't matter so release it and what's ahead of you as a final outcome is this inevitable coming in of your um, emotional mastery and just this fulfillment, this ultimate fulfillment. So basically, what's coming to you is coming to you. Like, like these results are coming, but meanwhile, how do you want to feel? Do you want to wait anxiously and with this defensiveness, or do you want to wait in peace? Because either way, you're getting what you're getting. It's, it's inevitable, but you know, you can you can be peaceful about it while you're waiting basically
Be open to communication from an unexpected place. So be open. You know, this could be literally physical. Um, most likely, it's going to be on all different levels. So it could be from your, your dream state or your um, mental, like, kind of telepathy from different beings. But be open to communication from from a different realm or different beings but at the same time this will materialize in your physical reality as somebody is going to come to you with an unexpected news that's going to really really boost your life and these offers these divine opportunities like something tangible is going to manifest that like a, a really graceful offer so what you need to understand is that's your manifestation it's not you know something you need to struggle to get you magnetize it you deserve it you don't need to hustle to get it you know so be be okay with just windfalls a comforting presence is on its way so i think that this kind of offer is going to give you a level of physical emotional and, and uh, like spiritual comfort that you were trying to manifest basically and get used to this level of grace and kind of environmental synchrony because you're stepping into a new level of co-creation, co-creative consciousness. And just remember that you're manifesting every single timeline, every single moment. So that's something you might want to consider when you are like, for example, when you get when you step into this level of a co-creation, like you are the oracle, um, when you step into that level of consciousness, you can't manifest something like true love relationship because it's like moment by but something like a relationship is not at this stage something concrete it's always ever changing because your level of creation goes from you know manifesting scenarios like one level sure because you're not as conscious but when you get more conscious you literally start manifesting every single aspect of every single thing so um, but at the same time, you can also outsource that power with consciousness. So this is like little things that I'm mentioning that maybe some people are not going to understand, but some people definitely will understand. So embrace the uncertainty. And I think a lot of you may be commuting with different star systems like Pleiades. Um, and that's the unexpected communication. But at the same time, like I said, that will also manifest on the physical realm. But yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that it has been helpful. Thank you for the likes, comments. And I look forward to connecting with you again. Have an amazing month. Bye.